most guys my age don't do what I do. I have one of the largest collections in the country with a little over 15,000 pieces. I'm considered Disney's number one fan of all time. Some might say he's a little goofy, but magician George Rieger is really just a big kid at heart with an incredible collection of Disney memorabilia large enough to fill a small theme park. My motto is MBD, nothing but Disney. 85% of my income goes directly to Disney no matter what. I might be selfish, uh, whatever you want to call it, but Disney's my life, it's my religion. It might be an unconventional theology, but George has been passionate about Disney since childhood. Raised by his grandparents, he was a loner. That's when Mickey and Minnie became his best friends. He made them best man and maid of honor at his Disney World wedding. They are, without a question, a huge part of his life today. Basically, with Disney, it's making up for my childhood. It makes me happy. I can forget about all the problems I have and everything that goes wrong. And once I do Disney or think Disney or buy Disney, all my troubles are gone. For George, Nirvana can be found a little off the beaten path from Main Street, USA, where every inch of his 4,200 square foot house is pure Disney. Everything in the house is custom done Disney. Every knob, the walls, the floors, whatever I can have Mickey ears on, they have ears. I do most of it myself. I have notes everywhere, drawings, sketches of what I want to do, how I want to do it. Most of the rooms have a little theme to them. Our main open living room is a Beauty and Beast type theme. Our bedroom is a Tarzan room. Our master bathroom is Mickey and Minnie. My daughter's bathroom is a little mermaid bathroom. George's extensive collection would be a lot bigger today if Grandma hadn't thrown out most of his earlier items. But he did manage to hold on to this original 1956 mouse guitar. If I wanted 5000 6000 I'd probably get it. Only because it's a buyer's market, and with Disney, there's not a lot of old stuff laying around, so if you have it, hang on to it. Many items here were acquired via countless trips to Disney parks. But the truly unique pieces come from Disney-sponsored annual conventions. That's when loyal fans, known as Disney Anas, enter a lottery for the chance to purchase limited edition collectibles. That's when George scored this commemorative item for $1,200. This piece here is made by Patty Gordon. She basically does everything in leather and materials. This is a limited edition piece, number eight out of 50. And this opens up, and this is special because this is Cinderella's 50th anniversary. She put a little glass slipper in there. Other notable convention items include these porcelain pieces made by esteemed fashion designer Giorgio Armani. George got this piece called Attitude for $3,200. It features a bronze captain hook and resin-made Tinkerbell. And this goose egg was designed for die-hard Disneyanas by a woman who works at the Epcot Center's German Pavilion. Each convention she'll make maybe 20 eggs. These are all hand custom made. They're one of a kind. There's not another one like this in the world. And they go anywhere from uh, $500 to $1,200. George also has several special items from Disney's exclusive line called Classics. These are all scenes. This is uh, Captain Hook. You've got Croc in the water and you've got Peter Pan. They make whole themes around them, basically, four or five pieces for each. They're going to make so many of these and they're going to break the mold. This marionette, designed by Bob Baker, may be the most valuable single piece in George's collection. He says it's worth about $35,000. But he cherishes this cracked plastic mug more than anything else. Why? He received the damaged prop as a gift from cast members of the Broadway show Beauty and the Beast on opening night. They took me backstage, gave me a little tour, and it's like, look, here, you deserve this more than anybody. I signed the bottom of the mug, it's cracked, they gave it to me, and that means a lot to me because no one's ever going to get one like that. It's obvious George's collection gives him a great deal of pleasure. But that's what you get when you model your home after the happiest place on earth. I go overboard totally, okay? I love Disney to the fullest. I do things that no one ever would think of doing for Disney. That's what makes me happy. George plans to add a 40-foot Mickey swimming pool and a 30-foot Mickey deck, complete with ears, to his backyard.